Jeremy Cook here from Better Computing Design. Today I'll be looking at a UTG 900E series portable function generator by Unitrin, specifically the UTG 932E. It's a compact but nicely featured unit available for around $150. As you can see, I can hold it in one hand along with a banana for scale in the other. So I wanted to do a little demo of this device in action. We'll go ahead and turn it on here and we'll just go ahead and go into utility and we'll do system and then we'll page down and then we'll do preset to set it back to its default settings. So we'll do the okay with that. And then you can see here it's um, in a sine wave at one kilohertz. And we'll go ahead and hook this up to a portable oscilloscope, the Oon HDS 2102S. And we'll use this BNC to BNC connector. Hit this on channel one and channel one there as well. And if we turn on channel one, it should display. And you can see you get a nice sine wave. Yeah, okay. So then if we modify the frequency, we can do that with, just press that in. And we can change that around and you can see it modifying there. And you can change the digit with that. And then you can also type in stuff too. So 10 kilohertz, and that's about what we had before. Or not what we had before, but a little bit different. So if we want to go into the different waves, we've got, we do a square wave and change that frequency around a little bit. So frequency, we'll do one uh, kilohertz. So it looks good there. And we can do other things like the amplitude. Press that to do the amplitude. We can also use this to uh, scroll it around, which gets a little confusing, but it's, it's not too bad. So hit the wave here again, and we can do a pulse wave. That um, looks just like a square wave. Except if we do the rise time, if we change that around, let's see, rise time, let's see, we'll do 10 milliseconds and we can see it's, you know, a lot different. So, yeah, so that's good. Ramp wave, uh, arbitrary wave. So we've got 24 different waveforms that you can use here or built in and you can load, load them externally as well. So we'll do wave file, internal, and look at that. So all kinds of different stuff you can do You can do there. The UTG 932E can do different types of modulation. So if we go to mode and we can do amplitude modulation, for example, so AM sine at 100 Hertz. And um, basically that's gonna modulate a carrier wave at 100 Hertz. So if we go into wave, we can set the carrier wave up. So sine 100 or one kilohertz. So this should all be set up if we turn this on it should give us a carrier wave and a modulation wave on top on top of that. So horizontal time base, zooming in, you can see it modulating, or zooming in, you can see the carrier and zooming out, you can see it modulated. So you can just see it, see it modulating a signal in a, on top of a carrier signal. Pretty neat. Now one thing, this is a 12 volt fan, but it'll it'll activate it at 10 volts with no problem. You can also go down to negative 10 volts if you like, or anywhere in between, but it doesn't do that because it, well, it just doesn't work that way. And of course you could try channel two if you like. And let's see, page down, DC, DC. And turn it on and look at that, pushing it around. Probably a, be a really expensive fume extractor, but you can use it with all kinds of stuff, lights, um, any, anything else you might, you might desire, I guess, within limits. This has been my review of the UTG 932E Portable Function Generator. My written review of this unit is available on embeddedcomputing.com, and I think it's a really excellent tool for around $150. We're giving one away, and information on the contest is available in the video description. Thanks so much for watching. This is Jeremy Cook. Signing off. For more content from Embedded Computing Design, including behind the scenes footage, raffles, giveaways, and just cool stuff that we're doing in general, visit us on social at the links provided in the bio below.